Hello friends. I've been working on a project uh, in the off time since my last video uh, and it's a, a slot car track. I was going to kind of make a big surprise about it and uh, do some, some uh, video stuff of it. I'll still do that, put it out, it's just not going to be a surprise. So some things have happened recently that kind of have, have pushed all this kind of stuff aside a little bit and I wanted to talk to you about it. Um, there's uh, the guy who's done all my decal work, all the de decal stuff that you see in, in this project behind me around, and in our one of the early shows that we did, we did on decals, uh, is uh, a guy named Joe Jasmer, and he went to work uh, this this month, ju uh, June 10th, and uh, came home from work, was not feeling well, went to bed. When he woke up, he was paralyzed, and it just it floored me. I, I found out about it. I sent him the second round of decals, and he responds to me by email uh, from the hospital and says, "Yeah, I can't do your decals until uh, my house gets set up and I get out of the hospital, and uh, I'm in the ICU right now." And it's like, "What? You, uh, I, I didn't get any of it." So I, I it gave it a couple of days or so, and then I called him and. Uh, just to talk, see if he would, you know, talk on the phone. He did, and, and uh, it was. Uh, I told him, that, you know, the, the the kind of standard thing. You know, you know, we're praying for you. You know, hope everything gets uh, works out good for you. It's one of those deals that that kind of happened happens in life sometimes where there's just something that kind of is nudging you. You're going. I, I wonder what this guy's got going on. I've been to his house several times. And I wondered what kind of a support system he had for this real tragic thing that's happened to him. So I wanted to push just a little bit. At least I could, you know, just find out kind of what that was about. So I went and visited him at the hospital. And, and he, he let me in. We talked for a little bit. He talked as normal as we would normally talk, which blew me away for somebody who just got news that they're paralyzed from uh, the waist down. And... Uh, so that, that right there was, was kind of surprising, but I started asking him a little bit, you know, Joe, what do you have for a support system? What do you have going on right now to go through all this kind of stuff? And he looks, he looks over at me, at his girls, and he says, myself and my two daughters. And then he started telling me a little bit about what's going on in life. In April of this year, April 2016, uh, the only close relative living in the area was his mom, and his mom died. And he wound up doing the arrangements, took care of that, went through all the finances, all the kind of stuff that you would do in this situation that nothing was done. So he had to kind of get on board and take care of the situation. He had to pay for the services, come up with all the money that you do for that. And then here, just a, a, a couple of months later, he's in this kind of a situation. He's in this kind of a situation with no support, no resources. I started asking him a little bit, well then, you know, can, do you mind me talking, to, you know, or finding out a little bit about what's going on? Do you have insurance? No, I, I've been working for the same employer for 10 years. I don't have insurance, don't have medical insurance. Uh, so he didn't have medical insurance. He came in the hospital. Once he got in, they put him on a state uh, health insurance. But all the bills, anything up to that point, uh, of that starting, you know, he's on his own. He's covering whatever it is that was incurred from that. He's lost wages from work since since the tenth that, that that happened. The forecast is he'll he'll be out of work until he gets you know back into into that situation and can start making money again. So who knows how long it'll take him to start getting revenue again. So all of these things kind of add up. His, he doesn't have a house that's accessible. Of course, we don't live thinking in times that we're going to need to get a wheelchair in and out of our, our house. So he doesn't have a, you know, that, that kind of stuff that you would have in the house. He's got all of those needs that you would have. Uh, the ramp, the accessibility stuff. Uh, and, and then you know the big stuff is is the bills that come along with all that kind of stuff. You you know you gotta even if you can can find resources and, and get some kind of assistance to get some of that stuff going, he's still out his wages. He's got to pay his bills. He's he, he's got all of that kind of thing. That he's got to get. He's got to figure out what he's going to do for transportation once he gets up and going. Uh, he's got to be able to get into a vehicle that has some kind of hand controls so that he can drive the vehicle by hand and. Uh, get to work. So how do you get that vehicle? What all do you have to, you know, what's, what does that involve? Well, we, we know that all that kind of stuff is going to take money. Long story short, you know, I, I, I do websites, I do that kind of stuff. 
so I, I just made a web page for him real quick. I got him a, a, a .com. It's called HelpMeHelpJoe.com. If you go there, you're going to find information out about this, and you can find out how to donate and try and help him get, get through this. If we get enough people that, that find out about it, and people just donated something like $10 or $20, whatever it is that you could, could afford on a one-time or, or a couple, two, three, four, five, six months in a row that you could pay him to help him kind of get through it, all of that kind of stuff adds up and then can help him kind of get through this. This is one of those deals where outside of people stepping in and helping out, He's gonna, he would come through the whole situation and out the other end, having gone through this horrible thing that happens to him in life, and the entire financial burden and all that, all that kind of stress. So what I'm hoping to do is that we can spread the word and get people uh, to, to help, gift cards, uh, uh, any of that kind of stuff. I, I back up just a little bit. Prayer is number one. Joe believes in it. I believe in it. We're Christians. So praying is number the number one thing that we want. Please keep Joe Jasmer in your prayers, his daughter Ashley and Destiny in your prayers. The family needs that right now. They need that kind of support. Uh, so praying, uh, donating, and sharing. Share this message with people. Share the website with people. Try and get people to, to uh, uh, jump on. And like I said, we're not asking for miracles. We're not, we're not, I'm not out there looking for the guy who's a millionaire and who can just jump in and, and write big checks and stuff. Th those kind of people are out there. And if anybody's out there and can do something big, great. That would really help. But you, you know, real life is, is people out there just trying to help other people. And, and most of us, like me, you, you, you know, okay, so put something together. Even in the midst of crisis that you have every month or different things that you got going on, and we all do, you can still find some way to, to, to find something to just give a little. And if, it, if we get a lot of people to give a little, it'll add up and it will help him. I'm just trying to help him get through a situation. I'm, I'm, I don't plan on doing these kind of things on a regular basis. Watch all my other videos. You won't see anything like this. I don't come on and ask people send me money, send me this, send me that. I haven't asked for a penny on any of the stuff on any of my website or any of that. And my commitment is that I'll go forward and not be doing that kind of stuff. This is a different situation. This is for someone else. And I'm asking for someone who really needs it. So if, uh, if you can find it in your heart, uh, helpmehelpjoe.com. Find the details. Share it. Uh, we'll put links to Facebook as well. And uh, help us if you can. Thank you.